What's up everybody? Welcome to Hard Gainer Fitness. If it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. If it's not your first time, welcome back to the channel. All right, today we got a light leg day. Focusing on those hams and those glutes, all right? Very first exercise is hip thrusters. We did five sets and 12 reps each and every set. A couple things I want you to take notice of, and the first thing is, notice how I'm pausing for one or two seconds every single rep at the top really squeezing those glutes. The second thing is look around my knees, all right? Those are actually knee wraps, and I use those to help me throughout each repetition. All right, as Derek comes up on the screen, you'll see that he also has something around his knees, but those are actual hip circles, all right? Those are used to help you to drive your knees outward as you perform the hip thruster. It's really gonna help you to engage the glutes now, if you don't have a hip circle, get you some knee wraps. I got mine for like five bucks from Walmart. They was dirt cheap. And I don't actually like to use knee wraps anymore. So I took one of my knee wraps and I turned it into a hip circle. And you'll be able to see it as I come back on the screen a little bit better. All right, so I took that knee wrap, turned it into a hip circle, and I use that every time I do glute bridges or hip thrusters it really really helps to be able to engage the glutes and squeeze all right so a real quick disclaimer before we get on to the next exercise is we don't normally do this higher reps and this higher sets all right we did power lifting for about a year and uh, we took a break did some bodybuilding just to really you know hone in on our hypertrophy uh try to build a little bit of muscle and we actually just started back on a powerlifting program a couple of days ago so i got plenty more videos coming uh focusing on more of a hard gainer type uh style with the powerlifting you know doing heavier weights lower sets lower reps and things like that uh, so make sure you stay tuned for that the very next exercise is romanian deadlifts all right man some rdls these really help to engage those hamstrings. I'm moving the camera to get a better angle. Um, all right, here we go. Notice how he's keeping a neutral spine, right? He's keeping his chest up. He has his knees slightly bent, not too much. It's not a stiff leg deadlift. And he also is hinged at the hip, driving his butt backwards throughout that movement as he goes down, uh, getting a real deep stretch in those hamstrings before he comes up. Uh, here I am doing the exact same thing. We did four sets of these, eight to 10 reps. We started at 135, worked up to 225, and that was actually our working set. All right, I actually did eight to 10, but Derek did around 10 to 15 every single set. He's a little, well, he's a lot stronger than I am. Uh, but notice my form is kind of the same, man, right? Got that neutral spine, hinging at the hips, pushing the butt backwards. Here's a better angle from the front. I don't know why I was moving the camera so much. All right, but check it out. Notice how at the top, he pauses, pushes his elbows back slightly, uh, really focusing on squeezing the glutes at the top. And this will also actually give you a little bit of activation in those erectors and the traps as well. So if you do this, it's kind of similar when you perform um, a rack pull. When you come to the top, Pull those elbows back slightly and squeeze on your back and you'll actually get uh, some good activation in those traps as well as those erectors. I'm doing the exact same thing. Here we are doing 225. Look at the struggle face. Oh, boy, it's getting heavy. <laughs> All right, but notice that the form is the exact same every single time when we go up and wait. If you start to compromise form, then you might need to lower the weight a little bit. Focus on form, focus on squeezing uh, the muscle that you're trying to target throughout the workout, all right? Next exercise, hamstring curls. Nobody is foreign to these. You shouldn't be if you've been around the gym for just a little bit of time, all right? Notice how he's doing the exact same thing with this exercise, trying to squeeze at the top for just a slight second. You don't have to hold it up there, but just squeeze at the top for a slight second. Uh, no swinging, no jerking, right? Really letting those hamstrings do all the work. You feel what I'm saying? 
when I go, I do the exact same thing. Notice how I pause at the top for just a slight second. Really get the squeeze in those hamstrings. Uh, we're really trying to, you know, grow my hamstrings and my glutes. Derek's trying to do the exact same thing. I'm trying to do mine really because I have a really weak posterior chain. So doing these movements and having days like this really helps me to be able to learn uh, to have a little bit better mind muscle connection really work on building muscle in those weak areas and it really transfers well into uh, your deadlifts your squats and even your bench when you work on those weak areas especially something as big as as uh, your posterior chain uh, my squat has gone up significantly as well as my bench today i did 275 uh, for two reps and the other day i did 330 on the squat for three reps yeah four sets three reps but next exercise ghrs all right uh four sets 12 reps notice how he's touching his hamstrings and his glutes as he goes up also notice that he's very controlled on the way up and on the way down he's not moving too fast also not trying to move too slow but really trying to get a good squeeze in those hamstrings and in those glutes as well um when I go, watch me do the exact same thing. Put my hands back there. Uh, if you watch people like Chris Jones from Pump Chasers, uh, shoot, who else? Uh, Christian Guzman, you know, some of the bigger YouTubers. A lot of those people do the exact same thing. Just get a finger or a hand. If you can't get back there because you're using both hands, ask somebody else to touch where you're trying to focus on for that exercise. It really helps you to get a stronger mind-muscle connection you can really focus on squeezing in that area uh, where you're really trying to hone in on. Look at me with the struggle face. <laughs> Boy, this was a long workout. I know this video kind of short, but still it was a long workout and I was tired. It was hot that day too. All right, and the next exercise is gonna be a back extension, but it's not your traditional back extension. All right, notice how he's not coming up as high. Notice how he has his back kind of rounded a little bit. And that's really to be able to focus on activating the glutes as i go you'll see the exact same thing i go a little bit higher at first and then i adjust around my back a little bit don't come up as high really squeeze those glutes we did three sets to failure we didn't really focus on doing the set amount of reps we just wanted to get to failure just as a finisher for this exercise all right and that was it for this workout i mean a real light leg day focusing on the glutes and the hams i got more workout videos coming for you you know i got you man Make sure y'all comment down below and let me know what body parts y'all want me to focus on as I put out these next string of workout videos, right? I want to center my content around what you guys want. As always, I'm Jalan Mahargan in fitness, helping you to defeat yourself and crush that skill, man. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. <laughs>